Okay, spleen of Megali. There are two reasons. One is very important thing is what portal hypertension. Because if you remember, splenic vein is draining into portal vein. <laughs> if you block portal vein, there is going to be increased pressure in splenic vein, backflow, and your spleen will be becoming quite bigger. This is spleen of Megali. Another one thing, if you have liver failure, one of the functions of the hepatocytes will be what? They nullify or they eat up antigens. If you remember from GIT, you are absorbing not only the good things, you are also absorbing a lot of bad things. Bacteria can enter, antigens can enter, other bad compounds can come. Whatever you eat, everything is not good. All of them are going to go through hepatocytes. They are going to decide what will be broken down. So they are going to eat up a lot of antigen. They are going to eat up a lot of bacteria. But also in liver, you should remember, there is a part of reticular endothelial system. We call it as Kupfer cell. They also have what this phagocytic activity, but both of them together. Now, liver is getting destroyed, so hepatic clearance is decreasing. I explained to you about this in DIC2. Endotoxin clearance is decreasing. That's why if you have liver failure, this is one of the precipitating or we call it what predisposing factors. Better to call it predisposing factors for DIC. So they are not clearing antigen, they are not clearing bad compound, they are not clearing bacteria which means they are going to enter into your systemic circulation and also in liver you have this reticular endothelial system which is phagocytic so normally hepatocyte will clear only little bit will enter this res or we call it reticular endothelial system what's the new name mmp means monocyte macrophage phagocytic system so these are phagocytes located where in multiple locations they are in liver, they are in spleen, they are also in other location. Now let's think about these two. So liver is getting destroyed. So there is going to be what? Exposure of this antigen to next level of immune barrier. These are what? RES. So Kupfer cells are activated. Also we have what? Macrophages here. They are going to be activated. So there is also, this is also one of the mechanisms of development of spleen omegaly. So this is a very important connection. We have a special network of vein. This is called submucosal venous plexus in esophagus. Now what is happening? Pressure is increasing in portal vein. This can press back into your lower esophagus and you develop varicosity. What is the definition of varicosity? Tortorous dilation of the veins will be called as varicose vein. This is called esophageal varicose. When the pressure increases much more, what can happen? It can rupture. So people can start vomiting blood. This is called hematemesis. One of the most common causes of hematemesis is esophageal varice rupture. If they ask you what is the most common cause of death in liver cirrhosis, bleeding from varices. This is the most common cause of death. Is it clear? How it develops? Hypertension in portal system, <coughs> backflow, it is going to push into your submucosal venous plexus. You can get tortorous dilated veins. This is called as esophageal varices. It can like rupture.